How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be getting back into some BR. As you can see we are 6-0. The 9 win is Walker Bueller which is probably the second worst 9 win you could possibly get other than George Springer. So there is that but we're going up against a pretty good team right here. I know he has a couple of diamonds in his rotation or his bullpen. One of the two but also I don't have the greatest team. I do have 99 Corey Kluber but because of the stamina and rejuvenation that they need in between games. I don't feel that starting pitchers are as valuable as, let's say, a Dennis Eckersley who's pitching right now or Raleigh Fingers who this opponent also has on his uh, on his team. So uh, just to keep that in mind, I did use Corey Kluber a bunch throughout this run and he performed very well for me as he always does. He's uh, the best pitcher in the entire game. But I feel like this mode is m mainly based on offensive performance as you can see, the opponent hit a two-run shot down to his last out in the bottom of the third to make this go into extras, but I didn't really have any guys to go to out of the bullpen. My best bullpen arm was the Silver Rob Nen, as well as uh, uh, probably Hector Neris. I also have Silver John Franco. As you can see, Hunter Renfro hit a home run, kind of glitched the clip out a little bit, but we ended up winning that last game. 3-2, to two, clutched up, and I was also the away team, playing as the away team a couple of times here. We're playing at Ship It, but I'm the away team. Starting off with a base knock from Khalil Lee. That card is okay. I mean, I didn't really have the best um, offensive options here. I mean, my best hitting card overall is probably Ronald Acuna. There he goes deep. We also have Eugenio Suarez. This card is amazing. And we have Hunter Renfro, who is probably one of the best silver cards in the game. But other than that, we don't really have too much power. Yasmani Grandal will be batting after Eugenio Suarez. This card is good. A switch hitter, a good catcher to have. I like having Grandal or Gary Sanchez behind the plate for the most part. Or maybe someone like Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver is also a really good card to have in BR. But uh, this is my first BR run of the year. So this is my uh, initial draft, the free run that you get your very first time around. I figured I would just play the run out regardless of who I got on my squad. Maybe we could get something going here. We hit four home runs in a row in this game and also uh, another double. So looking to score as many runs as possible. I know I'm going to be playing some good players as I move forward in this run. We're at 7-0 and right now. And anytime you get to this point, uh, usually around 6-0 and or maybe even 5-0, and you start to match up with players that have a similar record as well as uh, players that play a lot of BR. You'll see more flawless players. You'll see more people with the gold bat skin. You'll see people with the, uh, the goat banner as well. So those are types of things to look out for. This opponent does have the gold bat skin. So as you can tell, he has gone 12-0. I uh, thought that one was launched out for a two-run shot. We have a six-run lead. Reggie Jackson flies out to the wall. This one is launched out for a two-run shot. Hanley Ramirez goes deep. So this is something that uh, I need to be aware of. This opponent can definitely hit. I know that uh, with the bullpen I have, luckily I was able to get to the third inning without giving up a run. So that's the main thing. Uh, that's the main thing there. We're using Ryan Stanick, who is uh, a bronze card. I don't really know too much about him. Does not really perform that well as he gives up three homers right here in the bottom of the third with two outs. We're up by uh, two runs now. Going with John Franco. Luke Voigt brought in as a pinch hitter. And luckily that one wasn't sent out for home run. Right down the middle. A slider right down the plate. And we end up winning that game. So 8-0. We're going for the Walker Bueller. You guys have told me down in the comments section in the previous BR run that uh, Arenado would be the 12 game. If you guys didn't know, there is kind of a spreadsheet going on, and that will uh, tell you who your gold will match up with each diamond, and depending on who your rewards are for the BR run determines what the ultimate 12 game win and 12, you know those types of diamonds are. So you guys think it's Arenado. Let's go ahead and see if we can reveal that right here. We give up a base hit to the opponent after hitting a solo shot. And he gets something going. Smashes that one into the gap. I thought I was going to be the left fielder. So I'm running away from the ball with Ronald Acuna. That allows 37 speed to score. Probably would have scored anyway. That ball was uh, blistered into the gap there. But now we're facing Jock Peterson. He goes deep. So he takes a two-run lead. That's all right. I mean, we're going to have to score... A lot of runs in order to win this game anyway. This guy is a good player. He also has the GOAT banner as well as the GOAT icon. Uh, we start this next inning off with Starling Castro. Double down the line. 47 speed. And I like that Starling Castro. He has a really nice swing. A glitchy two-handed swing. And we get the bases loaded. He ends up walking the next two batters. One of them intentionally. 
and we bring it brings up Ronald Acuna with the bases loaded, and he hits a grand slam to put us up by two runs. So that was a clutch hit with two outs in the top of the second, but this game is not over. We had to go with Alex Reyes out of the bullpen, probably the worst bullpen guy that I had on my team besides the common that I was not looking to use, but Mitch Garver hits one out, a three-run shot to give him a one-run lead. Now we got to face the heart of his lineup with a lefty, John Franco, because this is really my only guy that I can pitch with that I have remaining on this in this bullpen. I mean, I might have one other righty to try and finish off the game if I'm able to get the win, and that's why I'm kind of trying to save him and get these outs. But Eric Thames is going deep, so that's three home runs in a row. That's going to bring up Chris Bryant, the following batter. This guy's team was absolutely stacked. He had tons of hitters, and he had some pretty good pitchers. He's pitching with some good silver cards, and that's probably the move in Battle Royale. Try and get as many good gold and silver pitchers as you can and build up your team with diamonds, golds, and silvers, the remaining portion of the draft. Anyway, uh, Starlin Castro is trying to get us a rally going here. Another base hit to lead off this inning. We need to try and make this comeback. Lourdes Gurriel, I only have one hit in 10 at-bats with them. I just cannot hit with this card for some reason. We get a slider low below the zone and hit it for a perfect single. So now we have Khalil Lee down to the last out. We need to get something going to keep the run alive at the flawless run. And we get a base hit. So base is loaded. Ronald Acuna is coming up to the plate. He already has a grand slam in the game. And I'm looking for a fastball, and I missed it. That was a sinker. I was just late, didn't have the best timing there. So we end up losing that game. We're 8-1. and one. We need to try and at least get this diamond, Walker Bueller. I don't want to just play all these games for a gold card. So we're looking to get the 9-game diamond and at least 10,000 stubs. Right around 10,000 stubs, maybe a little less. But that is the goal. So we hit a, a solo shot with Eugenio Suarez, clutched up, and hit a home run just about in every game for me throughout this run. Yasmani Grandal goes deep, and he quits right after that. So that locks us in Walker Bueller, and you guys were 100% correct. Nolan Arenado is the 12 game. We need to win three more games in a row. Would have been nice to clutch that last one up against uh, the player who hit four home runs against me. Sometimes you hit four home runs in a row, and sometimes you give up four home runs. So let's go ahead and get into this next one. We're going up against a World Series player. We need to win three games in a row. Bottom of the second, we didn't really get anything going on either side in the first couple of innings. But in the bottom second, we, we smack a two-run shot with Brian Dozier. That card has also been pretty clutch for me at the bottom of my lineup throughout this run. I always look to draft Brian Dozier because he has a really good swing. There, Lorias Gurriel. Finally hits one out and picks it up. So he goes deep there. Renfro, I have no idea how this was a home run. It was off the plate. Good okay. Wraps his arms around it. And that was kind of a weird, no doubt, animation in my opinion. But I'll take the three-run shot. We move up 8 nothing. After a few more runs, we go deep again with Brian Dozier in the same inning. So we get something going bad around in the lineup. Score nine runs. And we end up... Uh, in the top of the third, we did not give up a hit in this one. Hector Neris looking to close this one out and got a little bit lucky. That opponent hit the ball. He hit the ball all right. He, did, he wasn't like striking out each batter, but uh, just didn't get rewarded in that sense. Now we're in the bottom of the second inning in the very next game, playing at Miami's field. And for whatever reason, I could just not pick the ball up. I started this game off with a base hit, stole second, and the opponent started throwing me off-speed pitches below the zone. I could not determine if it was a strike or not. I was swinging, and uh, he goes deep with the grand slam from Joey Gallo right there. So we uh, actually end up losing that game. I hit a home run. I hit a home run with uh, Wilmer Flores off my bench to make it a 4-1 to game. But we end up losing that run. We get a diamond, though. Walker Bueller. So sell now 8400 I'll probably take the 9000 uh, by order. I'll put him up for sale wait a little bit and uh we also have this free pack here xander bogarts is a solid gold to have i don't necessarily have him for the red sox collection so and here we go here's another diamond we have a diamond out of the free battle royale pack an american league center fielder this is exactly the same animation that i got for mike trout and it's george springer so that is about a 280,000 stub difference right there, but hey, I'll take it. Free diamond out of a free pack. It's unfortunate. I did receive a couple messages uh, to my PSN. I'm sorry that you pulled George Springer. Did you think it was Trout? Yes, I absolutely thought it was Mike Trout, but if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up on this video. Peace out.